Hi guys, welcome to Estella Wilson Creations. It's not too often that we all can get together, so we love to hop on when we can. We got this game, well actually I got this game from the Dollar Tree, you guys know how I do. It's called Sips and Secrets, and I thought you guys might want to hear some of my answers. So, um, if that's something you want to see, just keep watching. Okay. I even like the cards, look at it, it's cute. Okay, it says... Have you ever worked at a fast food restaurant? No. Yes. Why? So, Brittany, you never worked at a fast food restaurant? Really? Fast food. Uh, <laughs> Where no. was your first job? Uh, daycare. Oh. Okay. I worked at White Castles in high school. And my first fast food restaurant is Burger King. Yeah. Was Burger King. Okay. Um, okay, it says, have you ever snuck into a movie? Yeah. Yes. Yes. These people are bad. Now, <laughs> first of all, look. Go ahead. And, and, and make it making so bad it was the dollar show. We back in the day, the two dollar show, the two dollar show, the Davis Theater, the Davis Theater, Chicago, Illinois. They used to have like double and triple features. I remember seeing like I don't okay. know some John Claw Van Damme, but we snuck into to, to the movie to see it because we didn't have two dollars. Well, not all of us had two dollars. It was a group. Okay, so I, I'm going to say yes and no. This is why. You know how the movie plays right again? <laughs> we stayed in the same theater, and then it played it again. Yes. Once. Okay, Sabrina, did you ever sneak in the movie? Yeah. You know Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you do it. Do you wait? Um, do you buy so popcorn? Actually, the first movie like I ever saw was like Save the Last Dance. Um, whenever that came out, I was like, I don't know, maybe like 13, yeah. middle school age. I ended up meeting a guy who worked there. So I was like, hey. So I was like flirting with him and stuff like that. Like, so he could be my like inside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I ended up giving him my number. And after that, like I used to bring my sister and my cousin. We used to go up there after that, like every day consecutively. On a side note with Say the Last Dance, I was watching it. And remember when you thought Julia Stiles was really getting it? And she was like, uh -huh. she was doing all this. And it really was not that good. <laughs> I look back I and I was that. like, what in the TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I just think if we, if you look back at it, she's doing all like it really wasn't that. Julia good. Stiles, where are you? We actually love you. We haven't seen you in movies lately. Yeah, I wonder. We should Google her. We'll Google okay. her after. I can Google. Okay, it says, "Have you ever snuck out of a first date?" Talk to you. Like I'm direct. If I'm not enjoying myself, I'll just be like, yeah. "Oh yeah, I'm done." I have. In, I always make a like. Well, I'm married now, but. When I was dating, I was always making note that I would never drive to, a, like, I would always drive myself to a first date. And I went on a first date with one guy, and we were just at appetizers, we had ordered some drinks, and so I was like, well, how many kids do you have? And he told me he had 10 children. Mm -hmm. So I told him I was going to leave, and yeah, so, and he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. And so then I, I told the waiter, I was like, bring a check and I pay for it. He's like, I'll pay for it. I was like, no, 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 you got 10 kids. <laughs> you don't pay for nobody's food. <laughs> Like, I can't even take food out your children's mouth. Like, that's ridiculous to me. I told him, I said, matter of fact, swing back back around one of those kids' mamas because no sane woman is going to walk up into whatever you created. I'm, I don't, yeah, no. And I left. Have you ever eaten food that fell on the floor? <laughs> First of all, Five second rule. No, Stella, <laughs> said, what, Stella, you just say something. First of all, Stella, when God you made dirty, 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 dirty
Change the last two numbers to my number. That's the number you get. <laughs> and I, I give them a fake name, too. <laughs> well, no, now uh, they are calling. Oh. like, hold on, let me uh, text you mm. so you can have my number. This is you. a great one for my sister. <laughs> have you ever dated someone you met on an app? Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> this one likes online dating. There's First of all, I, I like online dating. What's wrong with it? I, I feel if like you don't go outside and yeah. get around. You like First online all, dating? Yeah. yeah. You'll be like, hi, do you like washi tape? If you think <laughs> Because if you think about it, before online dating, you would only be limited to the people that were like in your neighborhood or that you worked with. So you ended up having like a very close circle. And so that could get messy if you date somebody and you try to date somebody else in that circle. So I was really not with that mess. So I was really always looking outside. And plus, I look at online dating as like, um, like HR. It's like human resources. You get somebody. You get to see their profile. Mm -hmm. You get to see them. And then you run them through a series of I tests. think she's been a manager too long. Now she's talking like it's a job, like it's I an do. application. Yeah. <laughs> and then you want to put them on a strict probationary period for 90 days because no one could be alive for 90 days. They're going to show you their true selves and then you see if they can continue on with the job or not. <laughs> Have you ever made up a fake excuse to get out of doing something with a friend or a yeah. sister? How about that? On the regular. Always. First of all, <laughs> I don't make up a fake excuse. I say I'm not doing it. Uh -uh. I don't no. think I make up a fake excuse, but if you be like you're tired, but you know you're not tired. Stella Will you does, say that? I don't say I'm tired. If I'm tired, I'm tired. Stella, if you ask Stella, you want Stella to do something, she'll just be like, no. Okay, but that's and not I'm like, making but no I really want you to do it. You'd be like, no. She's very okay. She it says, have you made up a I fake feel like excuse? she should make up an excuse so it could be nicer. Oh, you want me to make up an excuse? Excuse yeah. would be nicer than just straight. Sabrina, no. do you make up an excuse? Yeah. yeah. My niece is coming down here, guys. Uh oh. oh there's you'd have fell apart at 15, 15 years old? Jesus, take no, the wind. It's because of the toe touches and hurdles and stuff. Oh. Hmm. Gotta get your life, get your seven, ten things together. I can't walk down the stairs. Okay. Um, can you make some food? I you came down the stairs past it. the kitchen. No, I can't use the oven. What do you want to make? Hi, Foxy. Is this a girl's night? What do you want to make? Huh? It's the, che the cheese Danish thing that you have in the side of the fridge. I'll think about it when I go upstairs. What? I'm starving. She's 15 year old and she's it. starving. Read the direction. You know what she said she made? Did she oh ruin God, it? Foxy. Did she just throw up? No, she peed. Foxy. Foxy do need diabetes. See, look at what is wrong with her. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> and she's just sitting there doing that and we're no, all she, here. Because she, Stella, she can't, because she's old. She can't control herself. You should see her eyes. She's like, go get the mop, sissy. Or ask on family. No. Oh, my God. You guys, it's like a whole fucking kid, guys. Are you like, this is, this in the Yes. I, yes. <laughs> A 14 year old dog and I don't know what to do like I love her and I hate her all at the same time like please help me out you guys tell me what do you do to an old dog go that way go that way because I'm about to put her ass up for adoption guys her for like, she's old you can't just throw old things away please help let's me let's get back to it it says sipping secrets right okay have you ever bet on something and had no money no. so went in there and bet and bet no, no, I don't even bet. I don't hardly gamble. when I got money. Yeah, <laughs> like we don't. We're not huge gamblers. I definitely will gamble, but no. What do you gamble on? You're not. A I gambler. love the casino. I like the slots. The whole experience of the. How, how much do you spend in the slots, Stella? Ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> fifty dollars. Fifty, $50. But I play the nickels or the quarter machines, and that's not true. You? I also like uh, what's that? What's the what's the game they have? Deal or no deal. Deal, or no deal. I like deal or yeah. no deal. Will of Fortune and that other big roulette. We like kind of them. So, but when you went to Vegas, did you like the casino? I did not like. So no. The casino. No. I did not like Las Vegas. Yeah. At all. So yeah, we, <laughs> we're we're not huge gamblers, any of us. No, oh, but I like scratchy tickets too. So, okay. Have you ever stalked an ex boyfriend or girlfriend on social media? Yes. yes. And I, <laughs> I, actually, I'm a professional at it, so if you need mm -hmm. any help, let me know. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I will look through their comments, see who's liking their comments, then go to their page and figure out who they are. And then <laughs> I can even make a fake profile. Says, have you ever cheated on a test? Yes. No. I am the cheat. I definitely have cheated on it. <laughs> I, I've cheated on a lot of dozens in my life. Have you ever cried, flirted your way out of a speeding ticket? No, but I would. I really I mean, would. I flirted out First of all, you did. <laughs> Where? 
when we were taking my main, we were taking my my son down to LSU. So I didn't flirt my way out of that. Was no, the truth? No, she just said cried or flirted. So, <laughs> Stella somehow was going seventy five, and the the speed limit was going to go up soon because we we're entering into another state. The cop pulls her over. She says, "Please, please, <laughs> officer, my husband will kill me if I get a ticket, officer." She went straight damsel in distress, and the officer he just said, "Slow it down." He said, "Slow it down. It's going to go up yeah. soon." And I, she was like, we were just trying to take, she'd tell the whole story. We're taking my nephew, <laughs> trying to get him a future so he can see the colleges of his dreams. <laughs> it was hilarious. But she didn't get a ticket. Uh, I didn't get a ticket. So Stella will cry. I mean, I got some. pulled over one other time. I was going to work and I got lost. And you guys know, like if you don't know, I hate driving and I'm scary, especially at night. So I was lost, and I literally felt like I had no idea where I was going. And finally, when I got back on the right highway to head home, I just felt like my pedal was, like, to the meadow, like, trying to get home. And as soon as I got on the right road, the police with the stupid silence is behind me. I said, where were you the last two hours when I was freaking lost? Anyway, he let me out, too, because that day, I guess I did cry that day. It was in the middle of the night. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get home. <laughs> If Stella's driving long enough to get pulled over by the police, it's already extreme. Yeah. So at this point, she's already made herself upset because she's already driving way too long. I was lost for like two hours. Like, <laughs> literally lost. She's I could like, not find the right like, highway back. Yeah. Where, where there was no cop. It was just like fields. Like, I and I, didn't, I don't like getting off like in small towns. I don't know where they're at. And I was just lost. Like, have you ever fallen in love at first sight? No. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Twi First of all, that's how my love works. <laughs> how my love works is I'm going to see you. We're going to be together. Like when I met my son's father, I see him. He was across the street. He said, hey, girl, uh, we go together. I said, yes. <laughs> and then we were together for seven years. Um, I met to my ex and we were together for seven years and we met the first day and we never were apart. And then my husband, we met and we pretty much were together from that day. My love don't work like that. Not <laughs> my love don't work like that. But that's because I've done my initial background checking through the internet. <laughs> okay. Say that word. Had a paranormal experience. Yes. Uh, okay, I could have said it, but you guys know I got a speech impediment. So if I would have said that word, you wouldn't know what is it. Paranormal. <laughs> paranormal. Answer the question. Yes. Uh, yeah. Several. That's like when you like... Like see the, a the ghost scary people. Or yeah. like well, not like a experience. ghost, because I don't feel like spirits are bad. I feel like that. I feel like they're kind, most of them, that I've encountered. Well, Nene said that Jesus came and talked to her, Jesus and Jesus talk ain't talked to me yet, so I don't know. I'm Jesus. doing what? If you guys want to hear the story, but if you, okay. if you, I, I, God has spoken to me on twice in my life. And if I tell you the story, when I tell people the story, mm. people do be like, okay, maybe he did talk to you mm. because my life is blessed and highly favored. I'm just saying Jesus ain't talked to me yet. Uh, I'm down near 40 and it ain't happened. Have Jesus talked to you back then, Pat? Maybe I'm not listening hard okay. enough. Okay. Have you had a paranormal no, and activity? So when my son was little, him and, him and Jay... We're jumping on bed. His cousin, we're jumping on bed. And me and my other cousin were just in the kitchen, like, cooking or doing whatever. And so they were giggling and laughing really hard. And I was like, what are you doing in there, guys? And th that's the picture we have of them jumping mm -hmm. on the bed. Um, and it's a picture that just kind of floats around. And so he was like, my son was like, Mommy, we're playing with our friend. And I said, what friend do you have? He said, it's Jesse, Mommy. It's our friend. You know him. And so I was like, Jesse? And so they was like, yes, Mommy. He knows you and he knows us. He's our friend. And both the boys kind of, like, mm -hmm. were both saying like you know they were talking with this jesse jesse is my uncle and jesse passed away when trisha was five or six months pregnant because then the pictures from the funeral she's clearly pregnant with jay so neither one of our children have ever met him it probably was years since he had passed so we don't bring him up on every occasion so i just feel like if you love somebody like i know how much i love my son and my family so if i had the opportunity to come back and make sure they were okay i would think i would do that and i feel like don't you, but get you think jesse came to see our kids. I think he really cared about us. First of all, I'm scary as shit. When my husband leaves, me and Jalissa too, we don't open the door. If you come to my house and you ain't called the phone, let me know you come. Your ass gonna be standing outside. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I just, 
I'm scary as heck. Like, I, I... Well, I know my mom thinks that our brother is at her house. Mm. Like, literally. Well, yeah. Just hanging out. I don't... I don't know. That's why I know Ash is Her stuff is a little creepy. Her, her, my no. mom's a little creepy with it. Sorry, mommy, if you watch this. Okay, let's keep, let's move on. <laughs> Have you ever looked through someone else's phone without their phone? Absolutely. All the time. Every day. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't think no one has a problem with doing that. Have you ever, well, some people say, uh-huh, Teaspoon got a problem with that because he talking about you invaded his privacy. He definitely has ah, a problem. I was like that. I don't know what I said that right. through his phone, though. Take him out, sissy. Oh, no. Take them out. What do I use? What do you mean? I meant it. Sorry. Ah! Zari knows how to get stuff to the, the to the left of the stove. There's mittens. Stella, you get an F for teaching her. She don't want to learn. If I'm in there cooking, she'd be like, "I'm going to the room. I don't want to learn." You got to so keep her. on. I'm not gonna force her. She's gonna starve to death. She mm -hmm. don't know how to take. She, she better. She gonna be mittens. like Sam. She gonna be mimi don't know how to cook. Bird is learning. He be at noodle. He's learning. He's he be learning at noodle. Now. He's learning now. <laughs> well, maybe she will learn at 26. I'm not. I got enough to stress out about her getting her straight A's and get her to school. If you don't want to cook, oh well. I don't know what to do. My son didn't want to cook, and so I said, Sam. Yeah, well, he was like a senior. I realized I was like, Sam, you don't know how to make because he almost set the house on fire trying to make Raymond noodles. So I was like, what are you going to do? He's like, I'm going to find me a, a woman that cooks like you, mommy. And I said, good luck. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Have you ever tried to cut your own hair? No. No. That would be miserable. I was going to say, we're black women, so no, we definitely we don't will not our own mess hair. with our own hair <laughs> like that. We, we value the length we got. <laughs> okay. Have you ever re-gifted something? Yeah. I'm the queen of re-gifting. Like, I have a whole closet. Well, not just re-gifting. Clearance, yeah. sales. Yeah, I think everyone over here. But will. I will say I always try something before you re-gift it because, like, I was going to re-gift something, this lamp I got. And you tried it. I took it out. I was like, ooh, this is nice. So I kept it. Well, I'm even like that with... Like things, I feel like you should try it too. Because have you like, ever gifted something to see somebody else using it? And be like, I wish I would have kept it. No, what <laughs> you <laughs> gave it away? It was like, what? I, I was saying, like you give it away and be like, oh. be like, and then you see them use it. Oh, you be like, man, man, you had a lot of fun with that. Let me get it back. <laughs> oh my God, have you ever <laughs> dropped your phone in the toilet? Uh, yes, mine was in the bathtub, but it was a terrible experience first of all i dropped my phone in the public restroom at my work and i've cleaned that restroom for 18 years so i know what that bathroom <laughs> is so i could never oh look God. at it i actually went and got a new phone the next day because i could never look at it the same oh, even though Lord. it was still kind of working i was just like nope how about you sabrina you ever dropped your phone uh, in a kitchen sink yeah, yeah remember yeah. yeah i remember you did that yeah. have you ever gotten a tattoo that you regret well yeah. i don't <laughs> Tattoos and Sabrina, and she laughing back at you. Tattoo story. Well, this is, okay, it says, have you ever gotten a tattoo that you regret? Sabrina, hi. So, I actually, okay, so, yes, I regret this stupid tattoo right here. It's so dumb. It's like a towny thing. So now that I live in a city, people don't get it. They think it's super dumb. And then I have this tattoo on my back. Um, you got two tattoos you regret? I okay, so <laughs> crazy story. Like me and my one of my exes, like we were engaged or whatever. So when we got engaged, we went to the tattoo shop to get uh, matching tattoos or whatever. So he got like my name like right here on his neck. You got his name on you? No. So when the guy started, I like stopped and I like started crying and I was like, oh, I just want to wait till we get married mm -hmm. and I just can't do it. So it's like a half a tattoo. What does but it say? So it's he did the heart and then he put the line, but I didn't let him, he never wrote the name. So it's just so a heart. heart. So it's like yeah. not and complete. Line? Yeah. yeah. So I have three tattoos and only one I regret. So I have a little comma uh, semicolon mm -hmm. on my uh, wrist, and that's for um, suicide awareness. So mm -hmm. I don't regret that one. I got that like a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and then on my foot, I have family first. My son has family first on his arm. His father has, I don't know why he jumped on board to get it, but whatever. Um, my stepdaughter has it. So that's kind of like a family tattoo thing. And then when I was in my 20s, I had got really, I was. Yo, Stam Tramp. That's the you one you regret. I was thinking, like, what did she regret? And then I was thinking, look at the like, going scanning your all, body. Where is it? First of all, like, who? <laughs> I told you, you shouldn't have got so it. So I wanted, I got a blue rose and I wanted it somewhere where I, like, like I was, no, I knew I was going to do something with my life. You know, I didn't know what it was. I was in my twenties. You but can't feel like it? 
I mean, I'm sure he's seen it. But what did he say the first he's time? He's never said, said anything about it. I think it just gives you something to look at. Mm. I don't know. But I, <laughs> anyway, I have a blue a blue rose on the small mm. of my back. And I, I, of course, I haven't seen it unless I'm really looking. It's um, above her ass. I don't know what she's right talking It's right above. About. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah it's, right up, it's right above. But it's just like one row, one, one small blue flower. I was surprised you even let him, the tattoo artist, do it. Like, that, back then, you were so... No, that they was, don't. They don't like take your pictures. They just put yeah, it yeah. I was and just like there, right and I was like so you're uh, leaning back. Show yeah, anything. and I don't know. It was just I was like young. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I was like a little bit intoxicated um, at the time, and I don't know. I think you just got to really think out tattoos. I don't think tattoos are bad, but I just think you got to really. Think My them niece out. is definitely gonna have tattoos. She wants right now hazel eyes because she thinks there's nothing wrong with contact. She, wants her nose she would like red hair. <laughs> I, I, I don't like, know. I told Stella when she goes away for fresh me or college, she's going to come back. She's going to be like, what <laughs> like are you? Because she's going to have her nose pierced, her, her everything. Have you ever worn clothes to hide a hickey? Stella is a hickey queen. Well, because look how yellow I am. Like, but I mean. She, like, she would have hickeys look like a vampire attacked her. Like, I, matter of fact, I think you still get hickeys. Like, you no, know, are gross. we get hickeys below the neck. I see hickeys. Call a hickey. I try to get hickeys below the neck. Like, I don't. Because of my job, I don't really like them. I've seen some within well, the last see. year. So. Yeah, because when people so. come to work with hickeys, no, I, I, I try. Like, yeah. Really? I tell them that's, that's like really not professional. I do too. Well, I've never done a blind date, I don't think. I have, have you ever gone on an awful blind yes. date? Yes. Horrible. Terrible. I don't really Terrible. do blind dates. Yeah, don't do Terrible. blind dates. Sips and secrets, guys. I, um, I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with us, getting to know a little bit more about us. We're going to play another little game called Guilty Party. No. So make sure you subscribe and like so you'll see when I post this video.